Hey there, how you doing? Welcome to the Bake Book. Today I am going to make a video that I'm like kind of nervous to make because uh, it's just kind of controversial, especially for the whole booktube community. I want to talk about a case against readathons. <laughs> First of all, like I, I think readathons can be really good um, and I think they're really they can be a good thing for the community, but right now I feel like they're one of like the main things that BookTube does to like get people involved in the community and excited about BookTube and wanting to like do BookTube things. And and I get that. I have done like a fair share of Rita's Lens and I can't say like I haven't like really enjoyed it because I have to be a part of the booktube community like you're kind of expected to do readathons um to like engage in the community that way and i just think that's like a fuck ton of pressure to put on people booktubeathon i felt so burnt out i like participated and it's great i read seven books in seven days but then after that like i haven't been able to read and i feel like i'm kind of broken i think especially for the kind of people who have time to do readathons like a lot of people are younger, you know, in college or on summer break or what the fuck ever in academia and booktube community. We get a lot of flack for like not, we, for being very one noted because a lot of the people here read the same kind of books, same kind of age, all these like fucking hyper ass young white girls essentially. Like that's, that's what booktube's known for. I don't know if like readathons really help the community become more diverse um, because that being said, um, there are a lot of like good readathons doing good things, but the ones that are like super popular and that are sponsored, I don't really want to do like a sponsored readathon um, to read like a sponsored book that like a publisher is giving like an influencer to get everybody else to read because a lot of times the readathon books are shit. Um, they're like. I, I, I'm just like not interested in them at all. And so I'm just gonna talk about Booktubeathon for a second. So it's like um, seven days, seven books. And like some of the challenges are just bullshit. And like, I feel like I, I did it last year and I felt like really pressured to do all of these things that I really didn't wanna do. And I just read like all of these books really fast. And it, 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 that's not like the point of reading for me. Like I'm trying to read good ass books that I can really enjoy. I don't have to read short books and read it super rapidly and not like absorb it because I feel pressure too. I don't like kind of like binging. I don't think I'm like a very good binge person. Like I've binged a couple times on Netflix and then I felt like shit after that. And I feel like I'm very much like, I want to like value consistency in my life and just like having being consistent and instead of reading seven books in seven days, you know, maybe reading a book a week or you know what I mean? Something like that where it's like a part of my schedule and I keep going and I don't kind of like fuck it up and like make myself um, burnt out again. And I feel like I've seen like members of the community get really involved and do a lot of different readathons and then just like fucking drop off. I know when I was like on Twitter for booktube there was somebody like literally having a like she was like freaking out. She was like I'm like having a breakdown because I haven't like finished a book you know and it's just like why do we care that much and it's like why do I even care that much to make this video but it's like when you set a competition for yourself and then you like identify yourself with this kind of community then you want to relate you know and you want to be a part of that and I just feel like sometimes like these readathons really give a lot of people FOMO that for like this fear of missing out just like having a hobby on the internet and just like the competitiveness of it and I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm never gonna do a readathon again. I don't want to really do a readathon for a, a minute for quite a quite a long time because I have other sects of my life that I need to be going like balls to the walls. You know, I really need to like go really hard at. And I feel like um, if I'm like doing a readathon or something like that, I'm just not using my time as wisely as I should. One thing that I think would be cool, and like one of my favorite parts about readathons is just like having reading sprints. But like, I just wonder if you could do that on Twitter anyway. Do you need to have like a readathon to have a reading sprint? Or could you just be like, hey, who's up to do a sprint in an hour? You know, and granted like enough people fuck with you on Twitter, you know, maybe you could just like do a sprint with like one or two people or you could text somebody and be like, hey, do you want to like 
do a sprint sometime and read something together. I mean, it's like kind of like a buddy read. Um, and I think I like that system more. I think I really like buddy reading a lot. I think during this whole process of like booktube, I'm like beginning to learn the elements that I like and I do not like. And my favorite part is buddy reading and talking about it. And let me know in the comments how you feel about readathons um, and whether you feel like included or like you really enjoy them or whether you think they're kind of a bit too much because right now I am team too much but I can totally understand how you could be really into it too. Like readathons aren't your thing. Like what was your favorite like part of booktube and like how can we take like the how can we as a booktube community like have other things to do outside of like readathons where they kind of like expect you to like drop your life and read a book and make videos about it. Um, cheers, bitch!